Happy Friday, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to be sharing with you about some of these little creatures here. And I'll be back to tell you what I'm going to be doing. Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Natasha over at Educational Roots, and I am excited. I always have a great time doing collaborations with her. This morning for is going to be about May's Morning Basket, and we are going to be talking about bugs and butterflies. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to give you an overview of what we'll be doing, and this will be everything that we do for school. So I'm going to start first. I'm going to move my little bugs over a little bit. I'm going to start with the first thing that we're doing. We're going to be doing science projects activity jar. So this we'll be doing with our science. And they have a lot of great things in here about insects and where we can locate them. So we are excited to do these. So this is our science. And before I get any further, I want to show you the devotion we'll be doing. The indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. So this I'm excited to use. Perfect with the next few um, morning baskets that we're going to be doing. So this is a great book if you don't have it. It's fabulous. Definitely get it. The next thing I want to show you are some things. Um, get Fit Kit. And I got this at Target. And it has 32 fitness cards, and we like to get moving, and we can be up dancing, but this has a lot of great movements, and just to stretch out our sillies and get all the bugs out so we can set and focus on school, and this is just a lot of fun to do. So that's what we're doing for our health this month. We're also going to be doing in math, let me show you these cards, I have some different ones, I have some with butterflies. I have some with ants on a log, and you count the number that's on here, and you match it with the little ants. And I also have, and these are clip cards, or you can use just little small erasers, and you can put them on. You count the number of bugs, and then you put it on the number. So those are what we're doing for math. For science also, I do have these bug blocks, and Mason absolutely loves these. They're pretty cool. You can actually see the bug inside those. And then there's a book, and it tells you what each one is. So we're going to be trying to identify these, and then when we're out in nature, we're going to be seeing if we can locate any of these. So this is just something else for science. I also have... Uh, the main unit study will be Book Seeds by Blossom and Root, and it's the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Pillar, sorry, Caterpillar. And this is really cool because it goes, um, the book that we will be using is the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And then it goes with week one and week two, and the first day you read a book, STEM activity, and then you do wonderful words, and then you do st another STEM activity on day three, and day four, an art project. Uh, for week two, you read more books, STEM activity three, a recipe, uh, STEM activity four, and then a nature um, journal. So that'll be fun. So we'll be outside, and it says that this um, is based on the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So it's just beautiful. It's got some beautiful things in there. So it talks about science and nature, STEM activity one, STEM activity two, engineering and nature, math and nature, STEM activity three, and STEM activity four. And just the photos are beautiful. And I will be making this into a book. I just have not had a moment to do that. I know you wonder why, because we're in lockdown, but I stay pretty busy still. For poetry, we're going to be using the book Bug Off, Creepy Crawly Poems, and it's pretty cool. You go through here. I bought this book used, but I love it. I think I do have one on birds also. It talks about the green grasshopper, and it gives you a little poem, so I thought this was perfect for our poetry for this month. We're also, um, my son is fascinated by ants, so I got this game called 100 Ants. 100 Ant Picnic, and it's a super cute game. 
and I have this book and he wants to learn to count to 100. So he is ecstatic about this and he's going to be five in 10 days and it's for kindergarten. So he is super excited. And then we have 100 hungry ants to go along with it. And then um, actually Natasha, who I am doing um, this collaboration with, sent me this book. It's called Underpants for Ants. Super cute Osborne Phonic uh, Readers. Really love that. And then there's the Army of Ants. And then I have these ants. And he just thought these actually came um, to hang up. And they were all put together. But I took them apart so he can count them. So we sing the ants go marching one by one. And he loves that song. And he just... I don't know. He's seen ants outside right now, so he's totally fascinated. And then we're going to also do some lifestyles. And, I'm sorry, life cycles. Sorry about that. I'm trying to rush. I guess I need to slow down. So the first life cycle we're going to cover is um, a life cycle, and we are going to talk about ants. And we are going to be doing a life cycle on the little ant. So we are excited for that. Mason's very excited. And it just gives you the three-part cards. It points out and it labels each part of the ant. So I'm excited about that for him. So that's one life cycle we'll be doing. Another life cycle is the life cycle, um, a bee's life. And it's the bee life cycle. And it, you can turn this, it takes you there. And then this is the life cycle of a honeybee. And it shows you all the different parts of that. And I have to cut these out. I haven't gotten that far. And then I also have um, these, which are really fun to match with the cards when you're laying these out. So you have all of those. And then I have the three-part cards that go with it. So these are great. I love all these. And these are from Tubes. And so we'll do that one on the B. And then we're going to do the life cycle of the butterfly. We're very excited about that. And I have a book that goes with all of the different ones. So this is butterfly life cycle book. And then this is the monarch. And so I have two different um, tube sets and it just goes through, it starts with the egg and it just goes all the way around. So these are fun and so educational. I really love doing these. So these are the three part cards. And then here are the different tubes that go with it. Start with the eggs and it just has each one in there. And then I do have another set because it was different. I got both of them and it actually matches the, um, I'm sorry, let me get to this. There we go. More of the Monarch with the different colors. So this is another set by them. So I do have that one also. And then the last life cycle that we are going to do is the life cycle of the ladybug. And of course, here's the book. And then we have the three-part cards and then all the tubes that go with it. So we really, um, Mason loves these. He loves hands-on, so this works perfect for him. So that is the last one for this month that we'll do. And then we do have um, the three-part cards and then um, these are insects and what he does is match all of these. So we take these out, he matches them to the card. And I really like those and he loves doing all of those. It's a lot of fun for him to do those. I also have um, some pretty cards. These are nice and bright and cheerful. And we just go through these. We try to point out and find out which insects. And we have some books on them and we try to match them. So you got butterfly and you got the monarch caterpillar. And it just goes through. Tarantula, you got dragonfly. So there are some things in here that aren't insects. But I group these together um, because he loves going through these cards and playing with those. So, And we try to match them. Like I said, we have books that we match them with. And it absolutely works out perfect. I'm going to show you some games that we use for school. The uh, first one is called the Ladybug Game. And it's good for counting and it's three and up. So this works perfect. He loves this game. Really fun. And then we have alphabet mats and they are the um, alphabet bugs. So these are all bugs and we're learning phonetic sounds and upper and lowercase. So this game works perfect for school. And then the last one... 
um, I have for school game is scoop a bug and he has to separate them out and put them in the right categories. So this is a lot of fun. There's, um, it comes with 40 bugs, 40 scoops and four jars. So this is a Lakeshore also. The other two were also Lakeshore. And then I have this game for fun. It's called Bugs and Slugs. And it's learn about all that creeps and crawls. And we have not played this game yet, so I am excited to do this. I've heard great reviews on this. So this will be fun to use and share with Mason. Because he loves to play games. I don't know if your little ones do, but definitely Mason is big on games. Um... I'm going to show you, I, I have that, um, the units um, study that we're doing, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I bought this, it's really cool, I like this. It's the very, um, it's called My Busy Book, but it's the, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And it goes through with the story, but in the back, there is a place back here and it holds all the different animals that it talks about as you go through the story so he puts them and then this makes a little scenery he can do but he likes to go through and when it's talking about the duck then he finds the little yellow duck and he places it on the page so this is really good for critical thinking and he absolutely loves it I do have a magnet game and he I let him do the scenery and it's just packed full as you can see you can put them everywhere. These all just pop right off, and you can put those anywhere you want. He loves doing this. That is another fun thing he likes to do. We also have lacing cards, and they're friendly bugs, and they're really nice big cards, so they're easy to hold, and he loves lacing these. So here's the little ladybug, and it's got the little grasshopper. So they're super cute, and he really likes these. This I got at Target. This is just a finger puppet play set, and it's got like a spider and a spider web, and then this has butterflies, but they have little puppets that go with it. So this, he's excited. We have not used this yet either. So he's excited about that. So those are basically the things that we will be using um, for our morning basket. And like I said, this is all our school that we will be doing. And now I'm going to quickly go through the books because we have a ton of books and just show you what we have. So the first one is Cricket's Great Weight. What, sorry about that. Cricket's, yeah, Cricket's Great Weight. What is a butterfly? Spiders. Scary spiders. The Very Quiet Cricket. I wonder where butterflies go in the winter. The insect life book, and it's Osborne. This is the bug dictionary. I love bugs. Get that where you can see it better. Creepy crawly baby bugs. Bugs. Chance wings of hope. How spiders got eight legs. Bees, wasp, and ants, bugs and spiders, my slimy slugs and grub bugs, the magic school bus spins a web. Where do they go? Insects in the winter. Where do they go? A bug's life. Where are the bugs? Where do insects live? Bugs homes, the best book of bugs. The Bug Hotel. This is so super cute. Let me just show you. You can open this, and it's got little flaps, and you open it up, and it's got pictures underneath them. These are Usborne books. I love Usborne books. Um, this is Insects and Crawly Creatures, Ladybugs, Bugs Are Insects, Charlie the Caterpillar. Let me move this stack. How do flies walk upside down? This is Monarch Butterflies, Creepy Crawly Caterpillars. Butterf butterflies and moss. Oh, we have to have a cat in the hat. On Beyond Bugs, all about insects. A DK on butterflies. Bugs. Another book on bugs. The Butterfly Garden. This is really pretty. It's got things that hide and peek behind. And you lift the page. It's really pretty. Love that book. This is a beautiful book, too. The Butterfly Park. Absolutely beautiful. Um... They're like whimsical pictures to me, and I just really love the Butterfly Park. It's just so, so pretty. And then the Itsy Bitsy Spider, the Bug of Bees, Creepy Crawlies, 
for curious kids. And you can make a book in here. There's things to do. And it talks about tracks and, and uh, earwigs are eerie. And it just talks about buzzy bees. And then it's got things where you can go through. It talks about life cycles in here. You can make a butterfly book and color all these pages. And they're all perforated so you can tear them out. And then it talks um, about beetles. And it's got all kinds of ladybugs and matching them and coloring them and painting. And just goes on and on. And this It's really fun. So I like this book too. And then this is Insects and Bugs. And this is a sticker book I got at the Dollar Tree. And you match the stickers back here and you find the page where they go. That's really nice. Let's move this pile out of here. We don't have that there. A butterfly is patient. In the tree, honeybees. Eric, the very busy spider bee. And this is a rainforest story. Beautiful, beautiful book inside. I think it's really pretty. Let me just kind of show you. It's got a lot of great information, but the pictures are really pretty. It's got some neat pictures in here. I like that book. And then the last book I'm going to share with you that we have is called The Usborne Big Book of Big Bugs. And it's really cool because it, it's got great pictures. And then you get to a page. I'm sorry. Yeah. Got it. I'm sorry, I missed a page here. Let me get to it. You get to this page, and then it opens up way big. So the, the And then it keeps opening up. It keeps unfolding. So it's absolutely beautiful, and the pictures in it are totally amazing. So this is my favorite book. I, it's one of my favorite. I love, they have several of the big books, and Mason has most of those. Um, so this has been a fun unit to put together. I'm excited for my son to learn all the different things about insects and bugs and butterflies and for us to find them and see them and just to be familiar with all the different ones. Like I said, right now he's very into ants and he has spotted those. So as we go on our evening walks, um, he keeps saying, there's some ants, there's more ants. So he's very excited. So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscription hit that subscription button and then the notification bell so you'll know when I'm doing more videos. And um, don't forget to stop by Natasha's channel. She's at Educational Roots. You're going to love her videos. She is fantastic. She's got a million videos. So she absolutely knows how to put a video together and she is so informative. You're going to love her. So definitely stop by, give her a big thumbs up and subscribe to her channel so you can see her wonderful things. And thank you for sharing your time with me. And remember to just have a beautiful, blessed day and to just trust God with all things. Bye-bye.